all right guys so i'm getting right into the video today this is my hair um it was in like four very large twists um before this very scene right here that's why it looks all stretched out and kind of big um but i am going to just start washing my hair and um i didn't use i didn't pre-poo because I didn't know how that was going to affect the color that I was doing because I was using Arctic Fox. So I just went straight ahead and wet it and I'm um, going to go in with the shampoo. Um, it takes a while for my hair to get actually wet. So I sped through this part because I didn't want you guys to have to sit through this. As you can see, I'm just I'm constantly letting the water run through it. This is like a low porosity struggle. <laughs> So now that my hair is completely drenched, I'm going to split it into four sections and then I'm going in with the main choice slippery when wet shampoo and I'm just going to go apply that into all the four different sections. Um, I already have a review of this shampoo on my channel, so I will just link that in the description box and in the cards. So make sure you check that out. My scalp was kind of raw when I was recording this video, so I'm not going like in depth like I normally would. So. That'll come into play later on. All right, guys, so I know you guys see this towel. The instructions were to towel dry your hair with this uh, color because it is a conditioning color. So that is why I towel dried my hair and I took it out of the section. So this is how we're looking right now. <sighs> that shampoo, it always dries my hair out like to dry like dry 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 and this is what my shrunken hair looks like if anybody has not seen it yet um so if you guessed that i was trying to color my hair green you would be correct because i'm using this phantom green and aquamarine from arctic fox i'm trying to get like a blue green color um i'm not sure how green it's gonna be because i have these two but they are both less than half full. So I'm hoping that I will get the color that I want. And I have a mixing bowl this time with a brush. I'm gonna be using this brush just to mix. I'm gonna be using the glob method again to apply to my hair because it's just, a brush is not gonna work for me. And I'm doing the same color all over so it doesn't really matter. And this time I have gloves so I won't have to dye my hands as well as my hair. And the green I'm going for is like an emerald green. So I'm hoping that I get that with these two. So I'm going to add that color into the bowl. Already empty. The reason why I'm using these two colors to achieve the emerald green I'm hoping I get is because I bought a mannequin doll to teach myself how to braid. So um, I bleached her hair. And it came out to like a similar uh, bleach job like mine. And I used these two colors together and her hair. And the parts where I got a lot of blue, it's very emerald to me. I'll insert a clip if I can. It's like nothing in here. I wanted to buy another bottle, but finance is not where they need to be. And I was like, I have all these colors. Why not? Because if this doesn't work out, I could just put something else over top of it. And it'll be fine. So that's how much green was in there. And I have this Poseidon color, which is a little bit darker than aquamarine. So if the aquamarine makes this green too light, I'll add some of that in there. But this bottle is full. So I'm just going to add that. Gotta take the top off, right? 
who raises these kids? But that's pretty, it's a pretty dark blue itself. Even though the, 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 uh, the icon on the front doesn't look very dark, but it's dark. I'm doing like, I wouldn't say half and half. It's probably more of the blue than the green, honestly. We're gonna just mix that up. Show me the money. So if this was my conditioner, then I would be in trouble because I use more conditioner than this when I'm doing my hair. And when you're using a color, you really wanna saturate your hair. And this isn't like a lot to saturate with, but I'm just going to use a little dip of this because it is a little bit lighter than I want. Just a little bit because this is like extra blue. Actually, it's kind of purple. It looks kind of purple to me. I don't know. I'm going to section my hair with clips into four sections and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is my hair sectioned into four sections. The back is clips, the front is hair bands. But this is the color, if you guys can see it. I'm gonna do the front sections first. Um, and I'm not gonna dilute the color because my hair is not that light. So I want it to take as much as possible. So I'm just going to color it the way it is. So I told you guys before, I have extreme dandruff and it happens like right in the front of my face, like right where you're seeing it right now, uh, most of the time. And this time I did not scrub it like I normally would because my scalp was kind of raw. So you guys will see that dandruff. It's not a lot, I'm gonna use the brush. Oh, my hair looks a little bit more green, which is interesting. Okay, did I miss anything? We're only doing this one time, so it better be right. Did, you, did I miss anything? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the person in the back that says split it some more. Yeah, I'm about to run out of color on the first section. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's weird. Suspicious. That's weird. I'm doing a bad job of showing you guys what I'm doing, I know. As in, I know what you're thinking because it's, your sections are too big, Kevin. And you would be accurate. You would be telling the complete truth when you say that. But keep it to yourself. Sometimes people don't want to know when they're wrong, okay? They just want to think that they're right. So just let me think that I'm right. So that's how that section is looking. So if you're doing a custom color, which I guess you would say is what I'm doing, you want to have more than enough bleach. Well, not more than enough bleach, more than enough color, because when you're doing the custom color, or at least when I just did this color, I didn't use any measurements. And if you're doing it at home, it's likely that you won't be using any measurements. So you won't be able to recreate whatever color that you made. So you'll end up with multiple different colors if you run out, which some people are okay with and some people are not. 
You have to decide what kind of person you're going to be, Stark. I did not want that, but that's what we're going to have to do. Probably, because right now I'm like almost completely done with the color that I have. And I've only finished two sections. Okay, so this is how it's looking right now so far. It looks pretty equal to me, like the, the color on both sides. Doesn't it? Is it the same color? Y'all see that? Y'all can see better than I can. With this um, dollop of color I have left, was really none. I'm going to attempt to do the back two sections, and I'll be back to show you guys what my hair looks like all taken out and all that. So, stay tuned. All right, so the color is all applied. This side is hanging a little bit more because I, I did end up applying more over here than everywhere else because after this section, I started running out. But I think I covered everywhere pretty well. I'm gonna give you guys a 360, but it looks to me like I covered everything pretty evenly, I'm hoping. If y'all see some spots, just go ahead and laugh at me in the comments, it's fine. Cause I'm not a professional. And if it ends up looking toe up from the flow up, it's gonna be purple, so don't even worry about it. But this is how it's looking right now. I'm gonna let it sit under a cap for, let's say a few hours, maybe like four hours, because I just really want it to take, and I know I didn't apply a lot of color, so instead of washing it out after an hour, I'm gonna leave it on for four hours to kind of counteract the missing color. <sighs> so, I if it stays like this, I'm gonna be so happy with how the color turns out. I really want it to stay like just like this. But it's not so I will be back when it washes out when I wash it out so I will see you guys then am I killing it though I'm killing it y'all can go ahead and say it this hair is killing it right now it's okay you can see it can you see it kiss it kiss it kiss it okay so I watched the video back of when I like recorded the 360 and it looks like the back is going to be lighter than the front i'm hoping that's not how it actually turns out but that might be how it is and then if it is it's fine it's okay i'll just color the back some more it's been four hours since i applied the color and i am so ready to wash it out i'm nervous because i really hope that it looks like it did when it was wet when I wash this color out, but we will see. So pray for me. I'm gonna rinse this out in cold water and then I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? No, really, are y'all ready? Okay. So I'm back. I have not looked at my hair yet. We're gonna be seeing it for, for the first time together. Like I said, I rinsed it with cold water. So this is the reveal. All that work to not get the color on me and what happens anyway so i'm very excited i'm hoping that it's the color i want oh my god i wash my hair in the sink which i normally do not do this is exactly what i wanted like it's like a deep emerald green with like a blue hue like you can tell that this is like a blue in there somewhere i'm so happy what is my puff going to look like my puff is green my puff is green guys i'm so happy right now i'm so happy i am so happy with how this color turned out it is literally exactly the color I wanted. Don't mind my, my hairline. It's, it's going crazy right now. And it kind of colored some dandruff. Because my scalp never gets completely clean. Okay. But this is what it's looking like. I'm so happy. I literally love this. I love it. It's not like in your face like a like a mint green or anything. It's like a deep green. 
and it's like it has blue in it i'm just so happy right now it looks so good to me oh my god it looks so good okay i am so excited to do my hair right now so i'm going to do my hair off camera i'm going to do like a basic braid out or something i can't decide if i'm going to do a braid out for a puff or just a braid out to wear my hair out because it's a difference you know there is a difference but this is how my hair turned out i'm so super happy i'm going to style it so you guys can get the full effect and you guys can see what it looks like dry and all that but yes are you are you seeing are you seeing what I'm seeing? I mean, I was so worried that the back was going to be like a lot lighter, but there's no difference to me in my mind. We'll see. I'm just going to do it off camera and then I'll be back when it's dry and when it's out so you can see what it looks like when it's dry and when it's out. Stay tuned. Excuse me, can I touch you for a minute? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Did you put in the application? You cannot walk up and talk to me. You cannot walk up and talk to, you cannot walk up and talk to me right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right now, you can't talk to me right now. You just can't. You can't because why are you speaking to me? Why you, did you put in your application to speak to me? Once you want to speak to me, you have to go apply. Okay. Because are you seeing, are we, are we both seeing the same thing? Because listen, I know y'all would see it. Well, I. You cannot talk to me. <laughs> anyhow. <laughs> As Chizzy Drew would say, you cannot talk to me anyhow, okay? I am loving how my hair looks right now. I am literally so happy. I don't know if I can ever be happier than I am right now because my world is full. At this point, my world is full. I stood up. Um, I got my camera set up a little bit different so I can show you guys the full, the full look. I know I'm killing it right now, but look at the whole thing. Still killing it. Like, the, I was afraid that the green in the back was going to be lighter, but it is not. It is all the same color. And as you can see, the twist out is still fire, but now it's like, it's got a green fire on the end. Y'all just don't mind me, okay? I just want to say, if you are afraid of coloring your hair, you have reason to be afraid, but just do it, you know? Like, I feel like, you know, you only live for so long. You see me. <laughs> you in my business? I'm sorry, are you in my business? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. All right, guys, so yeah. I'm done clowning. This is how my hair turned out. I used the I used the Dub Amplified Textures leave-in that I've used before. And I used the As I Am Double Buttercream, which I have not used on the channel before, but I have referenced it. Um, it's like one of my top favorite creams that always gives me a fire style. And, always make, and my hair feels soft and it feels soft, looks good, looks amazing. You know, we're not gonna we're not gonna keep talking about how it looks, but like, like y'all see, okay, y'all see it. It's all right, it's all right. And I didn't stretch, by the way, but we're not we're not, we're not going there, okay? <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them down below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Can I? I can't get over myself. How can you get over me if I can't get over myself? I'll see y'all next week. <laughs>